Michael Vosti. I am Vice President of Gonzales Machine and Forge. Gonzales Machine and Forge was actually established in 1910, so we're 114 years old. My dad, I believe, was the seventh owner. We're in our third location, basically servicing the farm community here in the Salinas Valley. Uh, we build everything from different ground engagement equipment, repair all that equipment, being on the central coast of California. Everything's expensive. Labor's expensive, housing's expensive, everything's expensive. So for us to compete against some of these other locations that has cheaper labor, cheaper housing, we had to figure out how to cut our labor costs. And we took the original time was about 45 minutes to build a ring the first time we did it. And we take it down of well in the teeth on at about four to five minutes. So the first time we actually saw a cobot in person was up at our community college. They had two of them up at our community college. We went up and looked at it and it was still only hooked up to 110. They hadn't welded anything at all, but I got to get my hands on it, move it around, see how it works, see how the programming works, and see how user-friendly it was to use. If you're producing anything more than one, two parts, you could put that in the system, save it, and that guy can go and replicate those parts later on down the road. That four to one ratio we were talking about from a welding speed compared to the Cobot, those numbers start really working out from a labor point of view, where you're able to be that more productive with a Cobot compared to no Cobot.